City Heights neighborhood was virtually shut down today by this man who held SWAT officers at bay for more than eight hours. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live there tonight. And Steve, even though this is over, you've learned that not everybody is being allowed to return home. No, they're not, Kim, and some may not want to. Tear gas lingers long after it's fired. But there is one apartment back there that is in shambles. More than eight hours after the standoff began, this man was in custody. Shirtless and with large letters GBS tattooed on his chest, he surrendered after a police dog grabbed his ankle and his teeth. It was still unclear why he barricaded himself inside that apartment. He wasn't named on the warrant. We were there to serve a search warrant. Um, I, I don't know what his mindset was or why he refused. Uh, to my knowledge, he wasn't wanted for anything. Neighbors were roused from their beds before dawn huddling under blankets on the street corner while flashbang and tear gas grenades were launched in the effort to capture the man. I hate, hate hearing gunshots, you know, especially in a neighborhood where there's kids and stuff like that. So I want to have to go through all this. It was a long day for those displaced by the SWAT activity. They get in. They don't, let, they don't allow me to go back to the house. They, I'm out since 5 o'clock in the morning from work and come back and still here. Police were cautious, trying to end this without stray bullets flying. He was not armed when we arrested him. But then again, you know, again, I want to stress that this warrant, that our search warrant was for weapons and narcotics. And being that weapons were involved, we, we definitely want to use an abundance of caution. Over at mid-afternoon, but not all the neighbors could get back into their homes. The target apartment, uh, that will not be inhabitable, habitable tonight. You know, there's many windows that have been broken out, the door is no longer attached. So I know the Red Cross is working with that family to make sure that they have a place to stay. Now, charges still being sorted out, but obstruction of police and resisting arrest are very likely. Four others arrested today, and charges there include drug and weapons violations. Live in City Heights, Steve Fiorina, 10.